Hello everybody, my name is Jacob the Tyrant King and welcome to NASCAR's Strangest Cautions. Well, here's proof that it's full moon Saturday night. Experts say it's best to water lawns in uh, the early evening, or early morning, around 3 a.m. So, uh, note to the grounds crew, deactivate the sprinklers on race night, please. Uh, yes, I'd say we have a small 911 here. <laughs> Here's your problem right here. I think a piece of concrete possibly came up and hit Jeff Gordon's car. So something in turn three. Something happens right along in there. You see the dust fly. Up, you Hill. see the pieces flying. The track's got a must have a hole in it right there. Here's a better look. Boom! Right yep. there. Wow. And there in the top of the picture, you saw some smoke coming off the wheels of car number. 23, the bear car of Bob and Richard Bear from Oxford, Maine, and the car sliding, coming up across the top of the tunnel. People darting, getting out of the way. There's those are press photographers up there and safety personnel. The caution is out at Michigan. We have a new track mascot. I'm not. I'm not sure. It's not a beaver. We've ruled out beaver. Yeah. I'm not sure. A giant squirrel, maybe, huh? It does look like a really big squirrel. <laughs> They've got a scoop shovel out. Now I'm going to tell you. The last time we went through this, Michael, you and I were at Bristol for the trucks. There was a squirrel. Now we've got confirmation. It's a groundhog. A it's few not months even groundhog, groundhog day. day. Yeah. This is really going to get good. <laughs> <He's> got... <laughs> All right. We're going to go to break. Uh, we'll keep an eye on the groundhog. Still putting money <laughs> on the groundhog. He's still on the loose. Why does this always happen? Oh, they got him. What I just saw right there, Jeff Gordon in the 24 being pushed by Carl Edwards in the 99. It's like they were trying to time as we just had the lights go out Whoa. on the back straightaway. Yeah, the back stretch and turn two wow. fall to darkness. The track, however, is still green. But get, guess what? Now we're under Jeff caution. Jeff Gordon and Carl Edwards have not slowed down. <sighs> Yellow is off for the light. Watch the left rear tire on the 39. Oh, wow. I'll tell you, what you're seeing right there is the end, of the actual end of the housing breaking off because the hub's still attached. Yeah. You can see it attached to the wheel. Just prior to halfway, Robert Huffman hit Dave Stacy coming off turn two. David Huddle and George Crenshaw were also involved. The recent heavy rains made the grass a skating rink, and Stacy's car slid all the way to the dirt embankment, flipped <laughs> over it, and amazingly landed on its wheels in Lake Roy. <laughs> Rescue workers waited for the 29-year-old Enon, Ohio driver to clear the cobwebs before he got out. Hood not off, and this is, he's missing the bus stop. Oh, my goodness. The crap? Before he got out. Hood not off, and this is, he's missing the bus stop. Oh, my goodness. He was I'm slowing right. down through the bus stop. I, I'm going to admit, Rick, I am baffled. I've never what? seen I've never seen a motor blow like that. Is that a tire? A tire blow? I mean, the right front the tire right is front flat. Completely blown. We see Jake Hobgood, Will Hobgood. I'm sorry, keep put Will Hobgood in the outside. Oh, and 48 gets a bump from the Robert Huffman car. He spins. And now Jacob gets bumped by Scott Weaver, and both those cars just get. This is before NASCAR was safe. They had no good barriers, and the cars were extremely light. The air just simply flips the cars over. Just picks them up as soon as they turn. They nothing had a chance to happen as soon as the car got sideways. It was up in the air already. Put it out. Turn four. I have a spectator climbing the fence. Security not doing their job. Guy climbing over the damn fence. I think that's the first time there's been a caution for somebody climbing up on the fence. A big piece of debris right there. That or a trap door in the track one. <laughs> that's what it looked like. Wow, the caution you know lights. That's, that's the caution Damn. lights is what that is. Somebody, I'll tell you, these guys have been running so close to that wall, they've knocked that light off. I've seen these guys getting up so close up there. Wow, they knocked, they the, knocked light the light off. off. Watch this. Here it comes. Uh, maybe it's just the wind off of it. Man, 
that's we had blowing hard that way too. But somebody didn't that's a heavy car. duty light too now. It's a good Just, thing I didn't hit a car. Yeah, exactly. Now here it is, overhanging the track at turn four. The first car coming is going to be Kyle Busch. That's going to catch in his right front wheel well, and it's just going to whipsaw the fender behind the wheel, uh, the wheel well. Now, where is it going to go? Watch Mark Martin right here. He's going to come along, pick up that cable. It's going to do a little damage to the left rear uh, of his car. There it is in the air. It's going to catch on Mark's car, and then... It's going to go underneath Marcus Ambrose's car. You see the camera getting kicked, uh, the cable getting kicked up into the air. Take a look at what happened here that's brought out the second caution of the day. There's Stanley Smith in the middle in the black car. They were running three abreast going into that turn, Ken. There's the car number one of Rick Mast. There is one car that has gone. See what I mean? Over the this? wall. This is the Winston 500. Now this track is leveled like that, like kind of like Charlotte, but the heel on the other side is straight down. So if a car hits that, it's gonna flip right over it. Seeing that. And there are the remains of the car that went over the wall. Told you. And it looks like someone standing there with a the helmet, Ken. And got out of that. Let's hope that is the case. The helmet goes off. This is gonna be good. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bunny. <laughs> If you're looking for the one on Fox Sports Live later yeah, tonight, yeah. we may have found a nominee. Yeah. I made a lot of notes for this event. They're closing in on it now. We've got Nothing a bunch of, pe bunch of people here. About <laughs> <laughs> tracking down a rabbit. That rabbit gets through this uh, this gate, I guarantee you. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. <laughs> There's no way they're catching that rabbit. <laughs> they're trying to clear debris off the racetrack, and the car brakes, won't uh -oh. steer, and he slides up the track and in to the back of that surplus helicopter jet engine on a trailer used Hang to drive the racetrack. Uh, Mike, I saw sparks coming out from the car as if it had a tire down or something. What an incredible turn of events. I've never, I've never in my life. Here is the replay coming into turn 11. Well, that's it for this video. It'll be a part two next. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.